Having started out in his political career as a radical revolutionary in late 1960s Germany, Joschka Fischer then turned to the Green Party and eventually became foreign minister and the most popular politician in the country. That's quite a change, isn't it? Well, first of all, as a young man now, I made also, I mean, the long road from uh, uh, a young firebrand to a grandpa, so <laughs> that's life. I think it's very important to explore your own opportunities and... Uh, as a young man, you, you are more radical, at least uh, I was it, and try to really uh, look uh, what the world uh, really has to offer to you. But uh, I think it's very important to stick to principles. And uh, the rule of law is one of the principles. Uh, I think I made a, a mistake in my revolutionary past. We underestimated this principle that the rule of law is the core for everything, to bring social justice, to preserve uh, the rights of minorities, to guarantee equality. This cannot be a political decision, this must be enshrined in the rule of law. I think this is very important and human rights are part of the rule of law and democracy. Both together, democracy and the rule of law are the basic principles, that's what I learned. Do you think on the world stage today the rule of law and democracy are on the ascent or Perhaps they're vulnerable. Unfortunately, uh, the unilateral policy during the tenure of President Bush weakened the West because the U.S. was the beacon of freedom and democracy and the rule of law. And in the so-called war against terror, it would have been uh, very important that we stick to our principles. Why do they hate us? They hate us because of our principles. We are not on the same level with al-Qaeda terrorists. We do not deny uh, the dignity of human beings, even if they are very evil human beings. In the Nuremberg trial, for example, the leading Nazi, which committed horrible crimes, and they were responsible for the Shoah, they were treated in a fair trial, convicted, and many of them hanged. So this is not a soft approach when I'm right. asking for that we stick to our principles, but they were not treated in a way as they treated their prisoners or minorities or whoever. And it's not about culture to suppress minorities or to kill innocent people or to give uh, women not the same rights as men. This is for me not a question of culture. This is a question of principles in the 21st century. But how do you stand up to principles like that when they're so far away from your own doorstep? It's an ongoing battle. The world in which we live, and there I'm a realist, is not the world I'm dreaming of. And this is the gap you have to fill up by your activism. You have to fight for your principles, you have to fight for your political convictions. And this will not change. After World War II, there was a brief period when Jews were, so to speak, the cause célèbre, because of what happened. Do you feel this is about to end? Do you feel that Jews are no longer given some lenience? No, Israel is a fascinating country and a huge success story. There is a tragic conflict with the Palestinians and everything should be done. I mean, uh, not to give up, not to give in, to move on and to reach a peace. Uh, one day, I'm sure, uh, it will be a two-state solution. In Europe, it's hard to defend by and then the cause of Israel because uh, the pictures are giving wrong messages or impressions. It's not a war of the strong against the weak. This is really the tragic confrontation of the two people about one land, and this cannot be uh, solved uh, uh, by a one-sided position. Uh, we shouldn't give in, and also in, in Europe. Shouldn't give uh, in to whom? To the public opinion, to a broader public opinion. We shouldn't allow the one-sidedness about victims or attacks on Israel. This is not an issue, uh, but on the other side, this is an issue. It is an issue. There is a suffering, a terrible suffering, of innocent Palestinian peoples. And for me, one life has the same value than the other life. But this means we must use both eyes and it's very important to, to engage in such discussions in Europe. Is this complex approach, the one that recognizes that nothing is perfect, is this something that young revolutionary Joschka Fischer would have adhered to? No, I was different at that time. But you ask now an old man, and my experience is God gave us two eyes, two hands, two legs, two ears, to listen, to see, and to act, and to walk, not only 
in one direction. Life is always very contradictory, and uh, the Jewish tradition uh, explains that in a very excellent way.